Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is August and today I'm gonna be showing you my entire shoe collection. I don't necessarily think it's the best in the world, but I really like it, so it's all good. This will most definitely be updated, so I might do a another video on this later. Anyways, I'll split the video into sneakers, joggers, boots, sandals, and then at the end I'm gonna show you my wish list and what I plan to pick up soon. Let's get into it. Let's start with a super underrated pair, which I always get comments about on my TikTok when I wear, and those are the Nike SB Alleyoops. Super cool colorway in the, in like beige and the blue tick, I really like them. I think these are actually one of the oldest pairs of sneakers in my collection. I bought them like four years ago or something, I think, which is when I, kind of started getting into like fashion and collecting shoes. And they were super cheap as well. I think they only cost like 60 bucks or something. I think I picked them up on uh, on sale. Next up is a really special shoe for me and it's the Adidas Form Lows in collaboration with Home Alone. As you can see, you got the Home Alone house logo right there. Home Alone is my favorite Christmas film, so there's a fun fact for you. What I really love about these are firstly the color, I love the red. I can make a lot of cool outfits with, with these, but there are also so many details which I love. I think my favorite is the one on the heel, which is the McAllister doorknob logo. If you have seen the film, you know that Kevin <laughs> heats up the doorknob and it becomes glowing red. And so they put that on the back and I think that's super cool. The only thing I'm not really crazy about is all the black details on the shoe. It kind of just looks like they're dirty, but I think they're supposed to represent like all the explosions and like fires and stuff, so yeah. Next, we're gonna rapid fire through two pairs of Air Forces because they are so beat, it's almost <laughs> embarrassing to show them off. Firstly, we have these. And we have one with the blue tick as well. Both these were my all year round beaters and then they turned into clubbing shoes. So yeah, that's what is so dirty. And I don't even care to wash them anymore. Next up, we have a beautiful pair, which I actually got gifted from Vicinity. That feels crazy to say, I'm so grateful. Thank you, Vicinity. And it's the all black version of the vicinity akimbo lows the detailing on these are insane you can't really go wrong with an all black sneaker but when you add this level of detail on it it becomes almost an essential for my collection i think another pair on are some thrifted converse lows these are also kind of dusty <laughs> Because they were thrifted really cheap i think i only paid like 15 bucks or something i haven't really used them that much because they're not very comfortable but for 15 bucks i don't regret buying them so yeah lastly for sneakers i got a flat sneaker here and those are the samba ogs these are really cool i really like them but i feel like i can't wear them that much because they, they're kind of loud when they're like all green you know and they're also all suede so if the ground is wet they will get really dirty so it's actually not a very optimal shoe to own here in Norway but when it's sunny and dry on the ground they are so nice to wear moving on to joggers let's start with my adidas oswego as you can probably tell, these are also kind of beat, but shoes are meant to be worn in my opinion, so I'm not really stressing about it. I don't really like shoes that are like too white. When the sun hits a fresh pair of new Air Forces, you get almost blinded by just looking at them. Next up, probably one of my favorite shoes and TikTok agrees with me, and those are the brown New Balance 2002R. These are so beautiful. I don't think I own a pair more comfortable than these. These are so, so good to walk in. I actually got gifted these from my 
uncle and cousins and I've gotten a lot of wear out of them since then so it was a really good birthday present. Okay now bullets. Firstly I have the classics that every guy should own. The Timberland 6 inch. I've had these for a really long time now probably like four or five years I think and they are still holding up really well even though I've probably worn them every day for some of those four or five winters. A good pair of winter boots like these are essential to survive the winter here in Norway. And they look really cool too with a lot of outfits. Next up I have a, another pair of Timberlands. Kind of darker brown than the six inch boots. I unfortunately don't know what this exact model is called because I found them in the closet here at home and just claim them as my own. I really like the silhouette of this shoe, especially the sole under because it has a lot of like pointy pointy edges and a lot of detail on it. And lastly for boots I have the Doc Martens 1461 with the white stitching. These get worn like three, four times a week. They're almost my dailies. They go with everything and once you break them in they're actually really nice shoes to walk in. But that's the only negative part about this shoe. It takes so long to break them in. For me, I believe it took like maybe four weeks just wearing them gradually for longer and longer periods of time before they actually like shaped around my foot and became actually comfortable enough to walk in. My best tip to break them in is to wear either the Doc Martin socks, which is kind of like double layered. And that's that's what I did. Or you can actually do double socks and put on two pairs of socks and yeah, use that to not get blisters. Moving on to sandals. I actually only own one pair of sandals and that is the Birkenstock Arizona with the silver colored buckle. I prefer the silver color over the like rusty look, but that's just my opinion. I got a lot of use out of them this last summer when I bought them, but I haven't been able to use them that much in winter here in Norway. I could use them at home, but I like to wear these, which are the North Face like sleeping bag slippers, which are, <laughs> they're so warm and comfortable, I love them. Moving on to my wish list. Firstly, I really need a new pair of white sneakers. As you saw, my two pairs of Air Forces, which were my daily like beater white sneakers, they're they're completely gone. I think I <laughs> I have to retire them. But I don't really want a new pair of Air Forces because legit everyone here in Norway are wearing them. Shout out to home and Norwegians, they know. I know I have the Adidas Oswegos, which are kind of like white sneakers but they are mesh shoes and I, I can't wear them all the time I feel especially when it's a little bit rainy and stuff like that my socks get wet instantly I need some versatile beaters so I was thinking maybe Reebok Club C85 or maybe some white New Balance 550s if you have any other ideas on that please let me know in the comments next on my wish list are the Skepta Tailwind in the blue colorway. These are an absolute grail and I would love to have them. These are incredibly hard but last time I checked they were like 400 bucks in my size and I don't know if I want to spend that much on a sneaker just yet. Lastly I want a pair of loafers. I feel like loafers really can help you elevate your style so much. I've been looking into the Adrian loafers from Doc Martens, those are really nice. Another pair I've considered but I don't think it will happen are the Prada loafers. They are so freaking nice but they're around like a thousand dollars I think and that's, that's too expensive for some loafers. So unless I find them for like two or three hundred used. I think I'm gonna go for the Adrian loafers. So that's it for the video. Let me know what you thought of my collection. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you made it all the way to the end, you're a real one.